us human beings it's not easy to change. Change, it is possible only when we make effort. It is easy to wish for change or to promise that we are going to change. And still only those who make a big effort change. Let's say that we agree to make the effort, that many of us agree to make the effort. In which direction should we concentrate this effort? What I see is that we need to make an immense effort to change the way we run our economy, our world economy. This is the biggest issue. This is the biggest source of all the problems that we have and the danger in which we have put ourselves. It is necessary that Mother Earth, nature, become again our master teacher of economics. To observe how nature how the universe runs the economy of all things and learn from that. There is a wisdom in there. Indigenous people, indigenous tribes, many nations from the past, and some of them are still alive, learn from nature and run their own economy, their own way of dealing with economy based on this wisdom. This can be learned, this can be remembered. The main consideration in what right now I want to call natural economy, an economy based on the laws of nature, is to not damage the source of the goods that create your profit. This is not intelligent. By doing this, we have put our planet near destruction. If we destroy the source, one day it's going to end. One day the source will be so tired or we'll have nothing to give. And this is where we are heading. And any intelligent person can see this. I'm not saying profit is bad, I'm saying it cannot be the priority. The priority has to be taking care of life, making sure that life is healthy, that it's not damaged. By doing this, by taking care of all life, by promoting a circulation, a generous circulation of life, sharing, making sure that everybody has what they need, we create a field of abundance that benefits everyone. Indigenous people always see seven generations ahead, that the consequences of what we do today are going to affect them, seven generations to come. And we try to make sure that what we are doing today is for their well-being seven generations to come. To not take them into consideration and to not take into consideration how our actions have consequences on the life of all that is here on earth is forgetting something too important the continuity of life itself. We all are responsible for it. I, I believe and I hope that as a humanity we're going to move to a higher level, to a more intelligent level. We have the capacity. We're going to have to change. We will see pretty soon if we are willing to make the effort or not.